In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a sphere, uh, but this is actually going to incorporate both surface area and volume. So find the volume of a sphere with surface area of 200 centimeters squared. To do this problem, we need to know two formulas. We need to know the formula for surface area. And we need to know the formula for volume. If you want information about either of these two formulas, I've got videos posted uh, with an activity that shows one uh, representation of how this formula might come about, and same for volume. So there's two other videos posted that you can take a look at for these formulas and explanation of them. Okay, so we know the surface area, so I'm going to set that equal to surface area. And at this point right now we're just doing algebra. The goal is essentially to find the radius, because that's what we need, that's the only value we need for a sphere in order to find its volume. So we're taking the surface area uh, that we know, setting it equal to the formula for surface area, 4 pi r squared, and solving for the radius. I choose to uh, go through the problem as far as I can without going to the calculator because I don't want to have to write down a whole bunch of decimals like I get uh, from doing 50 over pi and then taking the square root of it. All right, so we've got that far. Get that the radius is approximately equal to 3.99. That would be centimeters. I'm going to use that in the volume formula now. Uh, substituting that in for the radius. So I'm just going to go to my calculator. I'm going to type it in as parentheses 4 divided by 3, parentheses, times pi. And if you're using a calculator that can store the previous answers, I'm just going to do that and times the previous answer, which is the three point, approximately 3.99, and hit Enter. So our volume is approximately equal to 16.71 centimeters squared. How do we do that? Well, we need to know the, the radius, and we use the information given, which was surface area, and the formula for surface area to solve for the radius, so that way we could then substitute it in and find the volume. 